All right, all right, what is going on, guys? As you see, today we're going to be discussing some more FIFA 21. And yeah, a lot of information in this video we're going to be talking about. So strap in, and obviously on this channel, we are big on career mode, FIFA career mode. It feels like we're just repeating ourselves, but it's the fact. For years and years, We've been wanting a change, and we have not got it by EA Sports. They've been really frustrating with career mode in previous years and for a really long time. So today, we have got some more ideas, and whatever you see in this video, all these designs, I'll link the creators in the description. Make sure you go follow them and all that good stuff. So this first one here, what we want to focus on is is the feature details. So if we first talk about the kits, you can see there you got the home away, third, pretty pretty standard there, but then the kit suppliers and sponsors, you can see so these are just as examples, see, till 2025, till 2022 from the kit supplier and kit sponsor. It'll be really cool to have this change throughout a career mode so you don't get bored of what is happening. Like what's gonna keep you playing career mode I find myself, even if I make videos, upon seasons upon seasons, you get bored. You get bored. You need more of these type of things. Look, you got Hall of Fame there as well. You can meet the legendary managers and players who change the club's history. Just give a lot more you can navigate through in career mode. That's where it struggles. You can see the club popularity as well. That's something where you can grow your club. Again, another aspect the senior staff, we know staff, there's a lack of staff, literally, what, can you get scouts? You can get scouts, scouts, and more scouts, basically, in career mode. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it, and you know there's a lot more to it. You can see your stadium, and you can have upgrades. Again, things you can continuously work towards that you cannot simply do. There's multiple things just on this club screen right here. So imagine, yeah, how much more they could potentially add if this was an absolute minimum just here yeah, with a club screen, a lot more detail, a club tab. You can, a proper club tab, you can see a lot more information and not as much to do with playing games, but as I said, a lot more to navigate through your career mode save to keep you into it. So we'll go on to the next one. And this is just in terms of backgrounds, it will be cool to have different backgrounds for the team you manage. That definitely keeps you, will keep you interested. You can see the inbox, Anthony Martial, after Rashford's departure, I would like to have the number 10 shirt. So there's just showing the messages, but the details in them. Does anyone else find the messages you get in career mode? They're like, they never change. They're the same standard ones to have a bit more variety. You wouldn't see one like that. A certain player departing, you can request a number 10 shirt. And you could add so many things. Yeah, these are just examples. They could add, say, if you sell one player, say if you sell a striker, and obviously you'll be looking for another one. But say you get a message, and yeah, he'll be, he'll be wanting to step up in... Yeah, his departure, you know, you get that. So, yeah, they can add a lot more in terms of that nature. So, for sure. You can see Paul Pogba's injury risk high. So, just to get some rest. See, having doctors. This is what I talked about having other staff. And you can see a lot more information here. We can go on all day. I don't want to talk too long. But you got finances as well. See the expenses. More detail in terms of the financial aspect and just dealing with that. And dealing with your finances and being more involved, as I said, you can see your performance. You can schedule a meeting with the board. You can see your contract there as well. As I said, a lot more details throughout the club and office through those tabs right there. Immediately gives you just a lot more to do within career mode, as I said, through your saves. So now uh, over to a Barca kind of design uh, once more. You can see the inbox there, the match day. The coloring is really, really nice. As I said, it will freshen up a career mode. Say if you're getting bored of one career mode you're playing, you can start a new one, and it almost feels like a fresh game. Like, all these different screens here almost feels like you're playing a different uh, version of FIFA. But anyway, a big focus here, guys, is the training. Training needs to be much more, much more in detail than it is, apart from training five players. Look at this. 
And this is where coaches could come into it as well. So if you've got midfield coaches, forwards, defenders, that could help their development. If you have the better coaches, that used to be in the game, of course, as well, way back. But yeah, forwards work on shooting, midfielders shooting, defenders tackling, goalkeepers positioning. Of course, you can change that where you where you like and it's nice to get a detail on your best performers as well it'd be maybe nice if you had a rating next to them if you go on there click it you see their rating maybe their average rating uh, throughout a month to get a bit of an idea as well or even average rating throughout the week because you have more than one training session in a week so uh, when it comes to selection and maybe you know how morale impacts attributes imagine if training impacted attributes like morale does that would be that would really make sense and combining that see that just came to my mind right there i didn't even plan to say that i'm like hell uh, yeah wait what about that that could actually work pretty well so yeah shout out to muhammad for these designs as i said i'll leave his link in the description and now we are going to move on to aqua foot make sure you go uh, check him out uh you can see I'll, I'll leave his links in the description uh but create a club you may see some YouTubers doing this kind of career mode, uh, creating your own club, because this is what the fans want. This is what FIFA players want, career mode players specifically, in the offline modes, and everyone, to be fair, uh, even Ultimate Team, Ultimate Team players. But anyway, you can create your own name, the crest, nickname, all that kind of stuff, your Nadia, you get your stadium name, and all that kind of stuff, it looks looking really, really cool. But yeah, this is something that needs a lot more attention and it would get it would get so much love, I think. Maybe not by exactly like monetarily <laughs> um, to have microtransactions like Ultimate Team, but it'll be really something fun in the game. And if you may notice some of those names, I think, yeah, the guy who created this put some YouTubers names in there. If you can lowly, uh, low key, uh, spot them <laughs> in the team selection. Uh, but yeah, like what's your thoughts? What are your guys thoughts on a creator club feature and to be done right? Not half asked like <laughs> some other new modes, <laughs> Volta, <laughs> Volta football shot, uh, who plays Volta football, lads? <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's move on to the next one. So, you may be here to see this. <laughs> FIFA 20 on Netflix. So, this design, yeah, it was created uh, by the same guy there, Ab Aqua, uh, but it's not completed. It's not a completed design, but the idea of it, the, you can see, like, those white boxes there. It, people responded to, to, to this pretty well. Imagine if there was something like with FIFA on Netflix. That would be really interesting. See, for example, what's the information that says there? Watch our Ben Yadere and Ryan Kent rise to the top, leaving millions of controllers and hearts smash. A long journey through mud, delay, and drop back. Another edition of FIFA, another money grab. So I don't exactly know the idea behind that, but something that came to my mind. Imagine, and look at the, there's like free Kurt there. And you can see the con they're like videos. This this is so interesting that I saw this because my dad suggested to me, he knows I make videos, of course. He's like, why don't you apply to Netflix or something to get your videos uploaded? And obviously I'm just some irrelevant person on the internet <laughs> compared to a lot of other people. And so I was like, <laughs> like, oh, you have no idea how much people will come before me. But then I saw this and like, sometimes it happens. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, what if... There was a Netflix, like, yeah, of FIFA content. Just imagine that. It, that may be the way in the future. You don't know how these things go, man. Just just imagine. Imagine watching your favorite YouTubers. As I said, probably not me, but all your other favorite top guys up there. Like, imagine watching that on Netflix. Like, and presenting. That, that would give me ideas for series. Yeah, like, to, to, how to present them as well, most definitely. Could this be the way forward? It, of course, it's, it's just an idea out there, but you can picture, you can kind of actually picture it. But as it's funny, as I said, like my dad gave me an idea of that. And obviously, like, I'm like, why would they care about YouTubers playing FIFA? But then I saw this and oh, it was just a, a really interesting connection. How would you guys <laughs> react if you, you, you're going through, you see your movies, you, you see your TV series, and then you've got... A FIFA section and a gaming section. Imagine gaming on Twitch. Not actually, but watching gaming. Not like Twitch, sorry. Yeah, that's Twitch was in my mind. On Netflix. 
they rhyme and t- platforms. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Imagine if it was something like that. Oh, they they Netflix could kind of <laughs> could really get something going there. But anyway, this was just another idea. What do you think? All these you saw in this video today. Let us know in the comments. I'll catch you guys next time.